one of the most common things you'll do in working with your website is work with text. So let's talk about how to add and edit text modules. We'll start by going over to the left-hand toolbar and let's grab a title module. We'll just drag that right in, drop it where the blue line appears, and click once in it to type something in. Let's call it what's new. All right, when we click into that box, that field, we see a context sensitive menu that gives us some options for working with our text. Let me show you those in a text module instead of a title module. It's a little easier to see. I'm gonna go back over to the left-hand toolbar and this time I'll grab a text module. And again, I'm just gonna drag it over into our page and drop it right below the title module. When you have a new text module, you'll see the little message, click here to edit. You can type right in there and type something. Or if you have some text saved on the clipboard, you can paste it right in. I'll just paste in some text that I had. Once you do, to format the text, you'll just select the part that you want to work with, and then you can apply a bold formatting, you can make it italic, and you can work with different elements throughout this menu, including uh, underlining, adding to the size or making it smaller, changing the color, and changing the alignment, all sorts of things. You can also use this remove formatting icon to put anything back, kind of reset it to where it started. There is an undo and a redo, but in my opinion, these or my experience, these don't work that great. Now there's one super cool thing that will be popular, uh, you'll use it a lot, which is adding links in your text. So we have a little block of text about an upcoming event. Say that we wanted to add a downloadable flyer to this block of text. We can just type in the link that we want people to be able to click on to download our flyer. So we'll just type in download the flyer. And then we select the text that we want to make clickable and we can use the link tool create link, click once on there. This gives us the ability to link to another website, to a different page on our site, to a page in the store, to a file, which is the one that we're going to use, or to an email address. Let's go ahead and choose file. And since we don't have any files in the server yet, we'll upload a new file. And I'm just going to choose one from my desktop and say open. You'll see a little dialog box letting you know that uh, the system's working. And once it's finished, our new link will appear. This is a little hard to see, so I need to go into the design area and make this link a little brighter, a little bolder. But uh, the final step to making this active is to head over to the top right and click the publish button. Weebly saves your work as you go, but it's not live on the public side until you click publish. Once you click that, you get another nice dialog box telling you what's going on and a link to your live site. Now in this case, this is just a beta test site, so I have it at this weebly.com URL, but uh, if your site has been set up properly, you should see your custom domain name here. We can click on that and have a look at the public site. So we see our new title that we added, we see the text that we typed in, the text that we pasted in, and the link that we created. And if I click on that link, we can see the document that I uploaded. So that is a quick look at how to add a title and a text module and how to create a link. And again, throughout Weebly, all you, you need to do to work with an individual module is click once on it that will pop up that context-sensitive menu with the options specific to that module.